Yeah, Larry Guess. Larry Guess has always been he always been good, you know. And I think he probably was the was uh, he he is one of the the top top twenty five legends in in the Bay Area, you know. To me, easily in in, in in my book, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, Fremont put three, four, five people on me, and I I still was torturing everybody. It didn't matter who. It was. Welcome back to the Rec Center Podcast. Man, we brought out a big gun today. I'm Kenny Edwards from Oakland High School with my co-host Lorenzo Lolo Parham. Man, what's going on? You ready for this one? What's going on, Ken, man? I'm not ready. We brought it and we bring in this new guest. And, um, after I just celebrated my birthday, and ain't how else we going to celebrate this episode on the podcast and nothing other than this guest bring on, man. So I'm excited to hear his story. I'm gonna be honest, Ken. We got to bring him on because I didn't even know he was a hooper at first. I didn't know this guy. No, I didn't know. I knew him from being at parties and sitting around and turf dancing and stuff. I didn't know he was a hooper. Then one day I see him hooping in the gym. Everybody telling me he had game, but you know, I think everybody weak. He ain't got no game, right? <laughs> this dude comes back. I see him playing in the game and he dropped up. I'm like, oh, dude is a hooper, man. So we got to call him Hoopers Champ. This is the mostly highly requested guest that wanted to, that we people wanted to see on our show, man. So without further ado, let's welcome the People's Champ to here, Paul P40 Marigny. Man, bring him on, Ken. P. Oh, what's the good? Champ. What's good? What's up, world? How, how y'all doing? How's everybody doing? All right, man. Hey, Paul, I don't know if you just heard my introduction about you man I just told ken how i didn't know you were the hooper at first bro i knew paul from outside the hoop and he was you know turf dancing at the parties we gigging we doing the food all at all these house parties and then somebody say he a hooper and i'm like what man he ain't no hooper he, he everybody was weak to me b i say man he ain't no hooper and then i see you in the game um playing for castlemont and you drop 40. And I say, oh my God, this dude, this dude, this dude got it. He got it, man. So, P, man, welcome to the show, man. Good to have you on here, brother. Everything been with you? Man, everything is good, man. I, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. And more than more than anything, you know, uh, get a chance to, to get on here and, uh, and you know, share my story and, and, uh, and uh, give the people, you know, some, uh, some, some good words and, and, and bring good vibes to your show. So, so we go, we got to back it up a little bit, man. A lot of our guests that I didn't found out started at Oak High School and then transferred out. You didn't start at Tech, did you? Please say you know we didn't have you at Tech too. Please say you didn't. No, 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 no. I I wasn't at Tech. But to but to rewind to go back to to the uh, to when you saw me at the house parties turf dancing. Well, you know, actually, when I was when I was about ten, bro. I, I ran into 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 Lucas, little Lucas in West Oakland. Okay, with the handles, with the handles. Yeah, from the from the bottoms, and uh -huh. so you know my my mom and dad and everybody stayed in West Oakland on Thirty First Street, and so uh, I seen him dancing one day, and and I was like, man, you got to show me how to do that. So you know, ever since then, you know, we 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 danced every day. Back in the day, boy, when I was like 10, 11, we danced all day, every day. After who we danced, we just practiced on on new new uh, new turf dances, new moves, West Oakland dances, just doing everything. And uh, so that's where the dancing came into play. But I was also hooping at the same time too. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't know that. So you can't your backstory. That was P, right? So P. I, I don't um, know if you remember Lucas. I remember Lucas, the dancer. He the trendsetter. He used to come to yeah, the he, parties he, and he, kill every. He was the battler. Him, him and Lonnie up out of West Oakland. They was the battler. They, they was our, they was our Chris Brown and Usher of our days. Yeah, that, that, that was us. Yeah, that was them. Man, so P, what, so what, what rec center you came up under? East Oakland, West Oakland. Where played your rec ball at? Man, I played rec ball everywhere, bro. I went from, uh, I played at Foster in West Oakland. I played at. Uh, 
at uh, Brookfield Rec Center. I was coming from from West Oakland okay. to East Oakland just to just to be in Brookfield to hoop in Brookfield. Um, because my mom, she really didn't want me running the, the streets of West Oakland. She was real like, you know, she was real, real, uh, real strict on that. So I had, um, so I was playing at Brookfield and then I also played at, uh, at the Boys and Girls Club in West Oakland. Uh, uh I played- The one on 24th, right? Huh? The one on the two four, the one on 24th. That, that, yeah, the that one on Boys and Girls Club? Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, but a lot of the times we was we was really outside playing though. We 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 played at Foster. We played at Mosswood. You know, I would go over to uh, to Arroyo. We would play at Arroyo because I played baseball too. You know, when I was younger, when I was like ten and eleven, I played baseball. So I was at Arroyo. Okay. We we had baseball practice for Allen Temple. Then after that, we would hoop at Arroyo, and then we'll go down to. Uh, to uh to Brookfield, you know, I was in, I was on every side of town, hooping, hooping everywhere. Man. When you bring up Brookfield, man, I want to see, man, were you in the Brookfield hooping? Where you saw a younger Dame Lillard at Brookfield hooping time, or or were you a little older than Dame when Dame car hooping? You would be going out of Brookfield. How how was that with Dame Lillard? Well, you know, Dame has always had a uh, since he was little. When I was hooping at Brookfield. Dane used to come to the gym and watch me, uh, uh, Ruben, Lewis. Uh, he used to come and watch Frank, uh, uh, Man Man, uh, who else? Uh, Jay Ryder. Uh, he used to all come in. Derek. He used to he used to he used to come to the gym and and sit and wait because he was too young. We wouldn't even let him on the on the court. And then after that, then. And then he would shoot and, and work on his game after we was finished. You know, we'd be playing for two or three hours, but he'd just sit on the sideline and just dribble, 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 dribble all day. So he he grew up watching watching me and Zarek and all of us at that time. So, there was, so a, lot of there was well, a lot of names in that list. A lot of quality yeah. hoopers. And you can't you can't forget about uh who uh, uh Sweetwine, Kevin Sweetwine, Ryan Solis. Because those are the guys that I looked up to when I was hooping. All at Brookfield? All hooping at Brookfield? All at, all at Brookfield under one roof, bro. It was a lot, a lot of hoopers, man. Hey, Ken, Marshawn. we got to put together. Oh, Marshawn. Definitely Marshawn. Shout out to uh, um, Town Royalty, man. That's definitely shout out to Marshawn. Ken, to put together man, a list. And do a, a, a we missed it. Uh, uh, Lance and Jermaine Turner. I mean, uh, Lance Turner and Jermaine and, and uh, Big Solomon. Man, uh, uh, who else? Uh, Twan. You remember Twan, the shooter? Oh, yeah. How, how, how did all of them guys, and they're older than you because they've been a lot, they've been a few years older than you. They, they tough as fuck, man, to uh, make it to where when you played against people your own age, it was a little easy for you. Yeah, it was easy because, you know, with them, it wasn't no calls. They weren't giving up no... <laughs> No calls at all, nothing. No calls, right? You know, right. blood, no foul. You, you, you got to earn it. You know, you got to earn Man. your your your, and you got to earn your stripes. No blood, no foul. No, no blood, no foul. See, let's back it up a little bit. I wanted, I got a question. How did you end up at a school like Castlemont that did, you know, during your age, your days coming up, don't have this real big basketball? um legacy right but um this is your era you have three months for climbing how you end up at castle month well you know i i started off at at hayward high i started off at hayward high i was my freshman and and my freshman year i was at hayward high and uh so i used to take the bus from from west oakland to hayward high because i was using my uh using one of my, my cousin's address to go to Hayward High because it was supposed to be a good basketball school and this, this, and that. So when I got there, the coach, uh, you know, I was supposed to be playing with the varsity. You know, to make a long story short, he put me on JV, you know. And then uh, so I was playing uh, I was playing with the Oakland Soldiers and and the, the, the Oakland Magic. And they like, man, you need to transfer, you know, so. I was gonna either transfer to Mac 
or Castlemont. You know, either one, because my dad was an All American at Mac. You know, he played at Mac. Everybody on my on my dad's side is they all, was all All Americans, and my uncle was a was an All American in football. You know, he played in the NFL a couple of years, and then you know he got caught up with some you know other stuff. You know, so alongside with my dad too. Dad played in the, in the league for a minute. He went to Weber State, and uh, so they got a. Uh, you know, just being from Oakland, you know, in that in that in that light and in that era, you know, it's very difficult to stay away from that that life, you know, the street life and, and what what comes with it, you know, especially back in the 70s and the early 80s is when that is when that, uh, you know, when when that crack hit, you know, and that cocaine hit. So, and that's when they got caught up right before that swooped up. So and, and that was it for them. Yeah, I was telling when I told my dad that we was gonna have you on, he he spoke very highly of your of your dad and your uncle. Uh, my dad went to McClyman's class of '76. Shout out Mac. Um, but we talk about that Hayward High man, dude. So Tony Williams Parker transferred to Oakland High from Hayward High. Absolutely. Hi. Yeah, same That's year. My guy. So Paul's junior year was Tony's sophomore year. Tony comes to Oakland. Paul goes to uh, Castlemont. But Hayward High also had the Tatum Twins, Anthony Shavies, Ricky Williams, and you, and Lo, your partner Gap. They <laughs> Gap. They Gap. Yeah, Gap, Gaffney. Yeah, but I mean, so Hayward High could have lit it up. And David was was David Bell there around that time? Uh, David Bell, I think he had just just graduated, okay. but 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 not even that though. They had they had Mike House. They had Mike House. They had Adrian Ward. They had Reed Raspberry, Jay Gaffney. Uh, we had, uh, if I would have stayed, we'd have had me. We'd have had Tony Parker. We'd have had Ricky Williams. We'd have had uh, uh, the Tatum brothers. We'd dogs. have had a killer. Dogs. How, how, so, so how did you end up at Castlemont and Climbers with the, um, and did you and Antonio Parker, why y'all didn't act? You know, well, we going to go to this school together. You know what I'm saying? So y'all was leaving. How you ended up at Castlemont, not Mac? I actually ended up at Castlemont because the only reason why my mom let me go to Castlemont was because Johnny Larigo was there. He was the athletic director at Castlemont, and you know he was he was great friends with my dad and everybody on that because Johnny Larigo went to Mac, so he was like, "Well, you know, I will take care of Paul. You let him come, and you know, and and I, I want him to." do well and 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 uh succeed here at the castle um or i can you know my connections i'll get him in at mac whichever one my mom was like no you ain't going to mac that's out the question <laughs> i'm like well you know it's only castle my let's 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 just let's just see what we could do and she was real real skeptical about me going you know because she wanted me to be a, a, away from all of that you know she didn't want me to be to be right in that in in that mix, but my dad he didn't care. He was just put him in and let him let him do whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, and then after that, then you know I when I went to Castlemont, um, you know I had uh, a couple a couple players at Castlemont put me under their wing. You know, uh, Brian Thomason and and uh, and Big Myron. You know they had uh, they they put me under their wing and you know. And was like, you know, this is this is what we got to do, and so I took it and ran from there. So when you when you get the castle um and y'all you got Jude, you got uh, my guy was Monte still there? Monte was Monte Weiss? I think. Monte no, no, when I you? no when I when I got there, it was uh, it was uh, uh, Myron Allen. I mean, not Myron Allen, but uh, 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 Keith Smith. Uh, and then we had uh, we had Kev come from 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 uh, from Skyline. Kev Cockerham Cockerham. came from Skyline. Mm -hmm. Shout out Kev yeah. with the jumper. Hey, that's a good little. Jump. That's a good. That's a good, that's a good wing set, man. You and Kev on the wings. That's a good little wings right there, man. And and then we had Chris Green. Uh, we had CG. Tremendous hops, bro. When I came when I came to the gym, when I came in the gym the first day. I saw this dude jump from the free throw line, windmill from the free throw line. Damn. In high school. Chris Chris Green. I was like, 
what is going on? But we had all athletes. We had all athletes. Y'all had, y'all, y'all had a lot of size. Because I remember, I remember. I remember uh, that year. What'd you say? How did they do in the OEL that year, Paul? How did y'all do in the OEL that year? Oh, we didn't do. We didn't. We wasn't good. We we was better my senior year. But y'all beat Fremont in '99, your junior year, right? Yeah, we beat Fremont. We beat. We we had a a, a good run in the OAL. We beat a lot of teams in the OAL, mm-hmm. but but then it was. Uh, but then I, I I think Fremont was the only team that had that had got a chance to. Uh, to advance because I think they end up winning the OAL, I believe. Oh yeah. I think they won the OAL title and then went on ahead and went in, in one state that year. Beat that state championship team. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, that, that's dope. Hey, one thing I want to see that state championship team, man. You, Larry Guess, man, were y'all going at each other? Yeah, Larry Guess. Larry Guess has always been he always been good, you know, and I think he probably was the was uh, he he is one of the the top top twenty five legends in in the Bay Area, you know, to me easily in in, in in my book, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, Fremont put three, four, five people on me, and I I still was torturing everybody. It didn't matter who. It was. You know, even, so, so I, but I actually had a good, when I, when I first, but see, a lot of people don't understand when I first came to Castlemont, you know, I was coming all the way from the other side of town with a, with a ball in my hand, dribbling the whole entire way. Sometimes I would even walk from MacArthur Park Station just to, uh, just to get to, uh, to Brookfield. And then, uh, I don't know if you know Dave, but Dave. Dave or Jay Ryder would pick me up, like right off of 98 and uh, and East 14th, take me to Brookfield when I was like 13, bro. When I was 13, I was 13 making a name for myself back then. You know, they was like, everybody was like, okay, I'm going to go get him. I, I want him to play with, with us. So, you know, with, with that, you know, I, I – uh, I just took it and ran with it, you know. But I, but I know I wouldn't be in the position I am today without without dribbling that ball and and uh, you know having people, you know, uh, uh, come and pick me up, you know, and, and believe in me and believe in what I could do, you know. So it ain't it, it wasn't just about me. It was about you know them putting me in a position to be successful. When you first got to Castlemont and you were, and you're now in the OAL. What what was your like first? Okay, I'm here now. Moment like I'm about to dog all y'all because that's pre- I mean even as one of the guys that competed against you and guard. Hey, hands up! You you got the better of me every night, so I could say that. But for you, when was it like? Oh yeah, it's on. Well, you know it was on when I when I when I came in and we played. Uh, well, see, okay, we're going to go like this. Yeah, see, keep it was, real, <laughs> man. Get comfortable. <laughs> no, when, when, I was, when I was young, when I was younger, like, like 13, 14, even before I came to Castlemont, I used to just sit up and watch Rafer Austin and work on M1 moves all day long, M1 moves. So when see we played a team, love. when we played a team and, and – uh, in in uh, Vallejo, Hogan. So I told everybody, you know, because I used to do M one moves in practice all the time. And Costa Rico used to always be like, "Now, Paul, now you know you can't be embarrassing the the, uh, <laughs> the players like this. You know, you have to you have to be respectful." And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, coach, okay, whatever, you know. And uh, so so it was on after I. I came down the floor one one time. We was playing. We was playing at Hogan from Vallejo, and I kid you not, I came down and I was in the middle of the floor. Gym was packed, and I I spent the ball off of some dude's head. I don't <laughs> no, remember. You <laughs> no, you did. No, you did. Real in a game. Frank asked Chris. I spent the ball off his head, and then I threw the I threw the ball out of bounds, and the crowd went crazy. So after, then I knew. That I had the, I knew that I had the people, and I knew that I had to, 
I had to do something special, you know, for that school. You know what I'm saying? So after that, then I went on and I had my first game against Thurgood Marshall. I think I had 43 against Thurgood Marshall. And this was during the this was during the this was during the uh, not in the OAL. This yeah. was uh, in the regular season. So I had I was running it up with them. And then I had so many, so many good games before the OAL. So I had already prepared myself to be ready for the OAL. And then I was also playing with uh, with Drew Gooden, with with D Tuck, mm. uh, with uh, uh, Jovan and, and Franco Harris, because we all played for the soldiers. So I played for the soldiers when I was 14. And then I played for the Magic, which was Capus too. So I was playing, I was already playing with Marquine and, and all of them. So, you know, when you come in, when I'm coming into the OAL, you know, my confidence is already, is already up because, you know, I'm already surrounded by good talent already. So that's yeah. what made me, you know, figure out the, the way to, to just, uh, to just kill people. You know, once I, I smell blood, it's, it's over. Even now today, even now in Mexico, you know, I'm, Man, I be trying to go at everybody still to this day, 20 years later, bro. Hey, hey question. You mentioned Johnny 3 on, on Thurgood, right? Uh, or Burton, Thurgood Burton. Did the name P40 come from you dropping 40 points whenever you want to? How did name 40 come about? The name P40 came from, from after, I think we played Fremont, was the first game of the OAL, or the second, first or second game of the OAL. And uh, so, uh, Frank, I don't know if you know Frank, but uh, Frank, he was on the team. He was like, he was like, man, you had 40. And I was like, oh, I, it didn't even seem like it. And so, it was everybody at that game. I mean, from Jay Ryder to, to uh, because I had, I was already making a name for Castlemont, putting up numbers and everything. So everybody was like, man, I need to come see him play. Who is this, you know, where he come from and this, this and that. And then, so everybody would say, oh yeah, his dad played in the OAE or his dad was played at Mac and, you know, but uh, how's his son? So, you know, I was already running it up before and uh, after. So Frank was like, man, after the game against Fremont when I had 40, he was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna start calling you 40 or p40 so he actually gave me that name after that game so after that game it it just stuck with me the whole entire time i ain't and never scored 30 in a game let alone 40 consistently every country i didn't went to every rec house every rec league i didn't played in from midnight to house league to to every country to the uh to Mexico, to Italy, to to Venezuela, to uh, college. I, I don't know. I don't oh. know if you remember, but um, cause I, I mean, we played against each other in OEO, right? Two years, whatever, whatever. Had our battles, whatnot. Um, but it, I don't know if you remember the the uh, five on five tournament at Brookdale. It was like uh -huh. 01 or 02. bro. I, yep. You took another level, bro. Like, I don't know what you was doing in that gap, but like from high school to that Brookdale tournament, I was like, that's a whole nother dude, bro. Like, I'll never forget that Brookdale tournament. With, like, you just was stupid. Yeah, you know, well, see, what, what happened was that transition from high school is, you know, when you get in that, when, from high school to college, you know, and you start being on a program consistently, you know, they get you in the weight room, you're running, you're in top condition, you know, and and that, that helped a lot. And then also for me, by me coming from St. Mary's, coming back home to Oakland and playing outside, you know, playing in all the tournaments while I'm still in college and I'm not supposed to be playing. So I'm just still hooping. I just wanted to hoop. I'm just still hooping, 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 hooping. And that's why the college coaches – didn't like me and that's why he didn't push me to the NBA because he wanted me he didn't want me to come back to to Oakland he didn't want me to come back to to my roots of where I was where, where, where or where I was raised he wanted to keep me out around the white people keep me secluded and not let anybody know 
you know, what I was doing or how I was progressing, you know, because even at the games, you know, I'd have my whole family from West Oakland come, everybody come, like 30 people in the stands at St. Mary's, come, come. And they like, put your best player in the game. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, and, you know, and, and that, that was the situation of, you know, I had a, I had a good year and a half at St. Mary's. Imagine if I could have had a good four years at St. Mary's of, you know, consistently killing everybody. Man, I came off the bench and scored 40 points and still didn't start the next day. Mm. Hold on, P. Before we talk about, before we get into the college, I want to talk about the recruit, what your recruit was like um, coming from Cows to Mind and things like that. I got to ask you, I don't know if you watched some of these episodes, but the main, we asked two main questions on this, on, on this podcast. Who would you play against head to head matchup or even in a game where you was like, you know what? This dude is a killer just like I am. Who was one of your competitors in the OEL that you had to play against? That I had to play against that was that was a killer. Just like you. Man, you had but it was a it was a lot of killers in the OAL though. Hey, it was. Stop being was. PC. Give, 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 we us a give us a couple of names. Like give some a dog dog? Yeah, where you was like, yeah. okay, lace them up tight tonight. Nobody, really. Ooh, no, 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 Larry Guess. No, I was thinking maybe Delonte matched up good against you. Maybe not. I don't know. Man. You're the class of 01, right? No, 2000 yeah. with me. 2000, which one? 2000 or 01? I can't hear you. What'd you say? You the class of two thousand or two thousand one? Uh, oh one. Oh one. So in that oh one class, you got Mondo Surratt. No, Mondo oh two. So I think Mondo was oh three. I think. No, nah, Mondo oh. Quentin oh three. Quentin oh three. Mondo oh two. So who was oh one? Ken. Oh one was uh, Paul. Paul graduated with me in two thousand though. That's what I'm saying. Well. We was, so hold on, so Paul, we gonna go to the next question because you just said it, it, it was not. Biggest question: Who would you say was overrated in the OEL years of playing? No, nah, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Let me go back and think. And okay, we go back. Let me, let, let me go back to lace them up tight. I mean, it was. I mean, you got. I mean, you had Dominique Ingerson. Who was a problem? Nah, he could strike and he could shoot. You had uh you had uh uh Delante Hoskins at Mac. Jumper. Yeah. You had uh who else you had? You had Jay Van uh, Neck was killing our year, but I wouldn't put him on the same pedestal as you. Um Yeah, he was he he was I mean you can't take nothing away from him. You know, numbers don't lie, you know. No, he had a he hell had of a, a year. Uh, oh, he had absolutely. a great, great year. He led that league in scoring, and I came in second. You know, I was, but you know, they say first the worst, second the best. You know, uh, <laughs> third the nerve, fourth the door. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but but then you go over the, but you go if you go over to Fremont, you know, you had you had LG, LG. I would say LG, but then you but then you could go over to Tech too. And Tech had, oh man, Tech had killers too. Though you had, you had, you had Deuce over there. You had uh, who else? You had you had Demarche Johnson. You had you had Mondo was a killer his freshman year too. Don't don't get me wrong. Mind, Mond, Mondo me. was a killer. You, who else went to Tech that I'm forgetting about? Lolo. Uh, Shit, yeah, my guy, man, he didn't get to play. Keith Wilwright, man. Keith, Keith Wilwright. Wilwright, man. We forget Keith Wilwright. Hey, man, that, that dude right there, that dude right there, Keith Wilwright. Talk about him. Man, I seen him when when Keith was in, in like 100% legit shape, could nobody stop him. We, we, we talk nobody. about it all the time, bro. No, nobody at all. I mean, you know, he he rebound block shots, 
score, dunk on you. You know, kind of like he kind of he kind of remind me of uh, of uh, I mean Tim Pierce kind of remind me of him. Because mm. that man, I I I watch I watch man I watch Tim Pierce go from from here to here in in like a like in the blink of an eye like this, bam. And I was like, damn, who is this dude? It was a new Tim. I was like, God damn. Mm. You know, but uh, oh, I mean, you had I mean, you had Corey Patterson too, who was a killer yeah, too. CP, CP, CP did well. Corey, Corey was at Fremont, right? Yeah, CP. Fremont, okay. And then you even had you even had uh 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 what's the name? When I was coming in, I think he might have been graduating from Fremont, or maybe he might have been a year uh, uh, a couple years after me. DeAndre Petit, mm. remember him? Yeah. Dude, DeAndre is, is is a real athlete, dude. Like ball, ball, um, basketball. Like he oh, even on the football field, he was the quarterback of Fremont Raw's team. You know, DeAndre, DeAndre could light it up too. And to that Fremont team he was on was so stacked though. They was stacked, man. It was a stacked Fremont team. Um, we had John Tar, John Tar over at line. He might be older than you, but John Tar at Skyline. He can fill it up a little bit. Um, so we have some definitely have some people that can fill it up in the OEL. But now we got to go to the next question, P. Give me some. Wait, you that forgot you about the killers at Ohio, though, too. You forgot man, about I, the you, killers. Man, we don't get no respect. I wasn't going to say nothing. I wasn't going to bring it up. <laughs> But I'm like, come hey. on, man. <laughs> Don't nobody. After Marshawn and them graduated, it's like it was like a gap between Marshawn and 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 Dame. I'm like, nah, bro. It was a lot of championships in between oh, there. Yen day, you got a yen day. A yen day, yen day can score him up. A yen day. You, you had you had a yen day who was a killer. He's a dog. He might have been the best. He might be the best to come out of out of Ohio, in my opinion. Over Dame. Because of the competition. Allende was an addition of the real, of the real, real goons, the real, real dogs everywhere, you know. And Dame is different because, you know, he's he's definitely one of the best to come out of Ohio. But the competition level wasn't as good, you know. You had one person, maybe, or let's say three people at the OAL that's killers, you know, when when Dame played. But when I played and Allende played. You had killers on every single team. You had Kellogg, you had Ike, you had Tim, you had, I mean, you had uh, uh, Antonio Williams Parker, you had Worm, you had uh, shit, Dante Campbell, you had little, the little guard, little DeAndre, who was a killer, lock you up for 94 feet. Hey, DeAndre, go pick him up at half court. Pick no, that's him up exactly what Freddie would say. DeAndre, full court. That's, hey, that's pick, pick him up at the parking lot. He stay, he at the parking lot waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? So you had Fremont. You had you had uh, 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 Marcus Malone. You had Marquise Williams. You had Lance. You had you had Jermaine. You had Shavies. You had LG at Fremont. And we talking about my year. And then you know you 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 went to the castle. You had you had Stan Edwards. You had you had Kev when he was there. You had uh. uh who else? Who else went to? Uh, Throw my you boy had uh, Rob Pico in there. Rob Pico, you had. I mean, you had. I mean, it, it was just killers all over the league. When, Mike from Mike. Uh, from, I think he, he, uh, Pacific Islander Mike. He went to DVC. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, Matanji. Yeah. Mike Matanji, you had. I mean, it was it was killers all over the place, in that in, in my era. So when Dame and them came, it was like you had okay. The last of the the last of the era that was that was that I say that was the killers was the Antonio Kellogg, the Tim Pierce, and Nyende. I agree with that, hundred yeah. percent. But who was who was overrated? Like Lo asked you, who who was overrated? Hold on, but who came after? Who came after? Hold on, which one came first? The 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 um come first or Kenjo come from? The C, which one came first? CG, my year. Oh yeah, CG, CG, CG. like oh one. Here. He played against. CG. And then then Kellogg came. Then yeah. Kellogg came. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, yeah. Man, Mac has them fill it up. Man, Mac has them fill it up or two. Man, they they did. Yeah. They yeah. Mac did. killers, but Tech had killers. I mean, every single team had killers. It, even Berkeley, it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't no. It wasn't no off night. You had to bring it every single time. 
Thinking nope, about cause... it on the top of my head, I think each team had at least at least three. one, maybe two to three Division One players. Every single team. Every team. Absolutely. I think Casamite might have been the only one with one. But like Ohio, Worm, Antone, and Yende went D1. Uh, yep. Tech, I mean, we know the story with Tech. Tech, yep. Uh, Skyline. Fremont. 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 Yep. Like everybody had a D, everybody had at least two or three D1 players. Everybody. So guys, before before we talk about that D1 and recruit with you, P, I want to ask that question, man. So who would you say was overrated? We just named a gang of dudes that lit it up and can ball. Who would you say was overrated? This bit was overrated. 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 In in my year or after me? In your that 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 dude that you played against in OAL. To be honest, nobody really. I I, I think that you're being politically correct right now. <laughs> you're, being, you're being politically correct. It was no, I was like, to, to be honest, I I think it wasn't a, it wasn't. You know, I really can't I really can't put my finger on nobody that was overrated because I mean it was like, I think it was it was to a point to where, a lot of the players that were good didn't get the recognition they deserved. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I can't say because at Fremont, Fremont didn't have nobody. Let's just say Fremont for an example in that year, 99. They didn't have nobody that was overrated because they had everybody that was that was coming in to play their role. You had Marquise Williams that was there only to pass and knock down the open shot. You know what I'm saying? You had LG was to lock up, score, you know, do it, Mr. Do it all. You know what I'm saying? And you had Jermaine, you know, who who would uh, uh, rebound, block shots, dunk on you. You had dunk, Josh and Shea. dunk on you, <laughs> and dunk on you again. <laughs> yeah, you 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 put the ball in the in, in the post to Josh Shavies, He working. He you can't stop him down there. Then you had Lance Turner that was coming off the bench, you know. So he played his role. CP played their role. So I can't really say, you know, I can't. I, I it's nobody that was that was really overrated to me. I. Nobody. But I'm going to tell y'all one person that y'all didn't even know who was a killer that went to Mac that couldn't even play. I don't know if y'all remember him, but his name was was Ricky Bartley. I don't know if y'all Bruh, remember him. I, I DM'd him. Yeah, we played AAU together. Yeah. I don't know if y'all remember him, Yeah, but he was a killer. Yep. But never played, and that's why I say that he didn't play because of the grades. You know, he was uh you know how you know how when you're young, you know, you 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 getting fast money and that's all you you know, that's all you think about. You know, but he was one of them one of them real street guys that was that was like he could play on any team and kill everybody. Yeah, Ricky Barley was rough, he was good. I, I, he just, I never heard of him. I never heard of him. Oh heard man, him. we played AAU together my eighth grade year. Our team was loaded too. I don't even know how we didn't win a lot more games. It was me, Ricky Barley, Gino, Marquine, Matt Taylor, Jamal Jones. He ended up playing football. Austin Nichols. Bro, we was oh, loaded. That was another killer right there. Austin Nichols. Ooh, he was nice too. Man, but yeah, now oh, really nobody overrated, man, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna I'm keep it a hundred. I hey, ain't nobody. P forty was overrated. How about that? <laughs> you bought. <laughs> you bought the real. Hey, you just bought the real, real perspective. The good perspective. The way you broke it down like that, man. So, so P, let's back up now. Let's go forward to your recruiting and going to St. Mary. They the only school recruiting you, or what options you had on the table? No, I had uh, Boston College. I had uh, USF, St. Mary's. Uh, UC Riverside, Kansas. I had got Kansas because of Drew, wow, and, mm. and, and Cal, you know. And uh, so, uh, who else? Uh, UC Davis, um, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, 
I had a lot of schools. I, I'm trying to think. Man, that was a long time ago, man. I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, who else? Oh, I had all the, all, oh, 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 uh, Pacific, UOP, University of Pacific, the Tigers, um, uh, Cal State, uh, 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 Bakersfield. Um, I had a, I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of small schools, a lot of small schools and, uh, a few big schools. What made you choose to stay home Pete, and go to St. Mary's uh, instead of taking a, instead of riding out with Drew at Kansas and stuff like that? What made you choose to stay home? Well, because when I, you know, at, back then I didn't, not knowing, you know, Kansas, you know, big basketball school, you know, when I, when I officially went on my recruit there, I, um, it was like in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, I was like, nah, man, I ain't gonna be able to do this, man. I'm like, <laughs> like in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, nah, man, cause I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm 16 years old, 17 years old, and I'm, I'm, I'm not used to seeing, seeing white people. You know, I'm, I'm around my people. You know, oh, so I'm God. like, I'm like, man, I, I, I want to stay home because, you know, I don't want the hassle of, you know, people, my family, or people that's in the Bay Area, the city that raised me, to having to, to fly out and go all over the world just to come see me one game and only able to stay for a day and because they got to go back. So I want to be home to where, you know, people will come 30 to 45 minutes and they can come more than one time to see me when I play. You know what I'm saying? So it's I was thinking of a way to make it easier on everybody else that that was around and, and, and supporting me, you know what I'm saying? So that was one of the reasons why I actually didn't go away to college. But now I tell everybody now, since it's, since the technology and stuff is, 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 uh, is easy, you know, it's, it's, it's more easy to go away now because now you want to get away from all of this, all of the shit that's going on in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And everything that's, that's uh that's happening you know right now back then you know when i was younger i wasn't thinking about it like that you know i was only thinking about you know being close to the to the people that supported me so that was that was a big factor in me and staying hey you, you when you was at st mary's man how um coaches really you know one 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 feeling yo one feeling you being still connected to the neighborhood or being in oakland what other did you have, have any kind of rifts with them the to why other than the starter? I know when you got there, was Jovan still there? Yeah, Jovan was there. You know, he he uh he was with me on when they was recruiting me. He came in and he was like uh, you know, he was already he was already there. He was a he was a freshman. And so uh so he was like, Yeah, you know, uh it's gonna be cool. Me and him was in the backcourt, you know, and I not knowing me and Jovan had already been playing for, for four years in AAU, you know, with the soldiers. So I had already knew him and, and uh, been playing with him. So that was another factor why I was, I, I, why I stayed close. Cause I'm like, okay, this is somebody I didn't play with, somebody I didn't know, hey man, hey, I'm, I'm about to just, you know, and it's close to home, so let's just do it. And- Was Frank, uh, was Frank Alonco still there with you too? Or was he no. graduated by now? Oh, you must have graduated. No, and then, I, and then I also had, Another factor of me going there was was also Frank Knight too from Fremont. Mm -hmm. You know he went to St. Mary's too. So we had, he we uh, had him on like three episodes ago. Frank we had three episodes ago, man. Frank Frank tore it down, man, with his stories, and he talked highly of St. Mary's as well, man. And he talked highly about Tim Pierce when he got to coach him. Um, he said Tim was a killer, man. So yeah, that was a good addition for Frank to try to bring you in there, man. Yeah, he he was a, a factor in as well, you know, and and plus it was like, you know, the D one school it was close to home, you know, and uh, so I was like, okay, well let's do it. And then when I got there, I see all these white people. <laughs> I should have, I should have went to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coaches, you know. Nah, I'm nah, like, you gotta you got a culture shock within the Bay, right? You got to see, man. When I got to Arizona State, culture shock was like, like I'm like, oh, I'm not used to this, right? I'm not used to this. I thought 
back to me, Tech was like an HBCU. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like people at Tech, right? <laughs> they, they was there, but I didn't see them. Tech was like an HBCU. When I got to Arizona State, I'm like, like oh, man, what the hell is going on, right? So definitely, man. So um, when you left, you say, um, at, at St. Mary, the, the coach didn't push you going to the end, right? What you had, how quick was it for you to get picked up overseas? And what was the first overseas country you went and played in? Well, you know, I had I had a few I had a few NBA workouts. You know, I had okay. a, a lot of NBA workouts in my time. You know, but it wasn't like it wasn't like he was like, oh yeah, this is my guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was focused on getting the players from from Australia. You know what I'm saying? And and, and pushing them. You know, because I, I I led the league in scoring from the bench. I led the league in scoring from the bench mm. at 23 points a game from the bench. Wow. And I was wow. the number one, number one six man in the nation. Number one wow. six man in the nation. St. Mary. And still didn't start. I didn't get a chance to really start until my my senior year, my last year in in uh in college, and I was already running it up. I I I didn't have forty points, numerous games my junior year, and still didn't start. I mean, thirty here. I mean, here leading the league in scoring, this this and that, and, and you know, uh, 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 mid major All American from the bench. Mm. <laughs> so imagine. <laughs> I imagine if I could have had a, a, a great four year run at St. Mary's, you know, I would have I would have been the, the all time leading scorer at St. Mary's. You know, I I think I'm number number seven or six on the list all time leading scorer, and I only played a good year and a half. Did did you and the coach get along? Because I it's been a couple it's been a minute since I've been back up there, but last time I went up to St. Mary's, they had your picture. You know, on the gym and everything, is that just kind of like a recruiting, politically correct thing, or did you guys leave on a good note? I mean, it was, you know, it was it was the only way it, it, it could be was a was a was a good note. But he know, you know, and I know, you know what I'm saying, and and uh, and uh, so I mean, you know, it, it it is what it is. That's to that's to get. People to be like, oh, uh, well, you know, Paul was one of the first first person that helped turn this program around. So, you know, if he can if he can do it, you can do it. Mm. Do it. Yeah, that's one of those. Let's try to say, you know, short, to bring little short, short. A- Absolutely. So you know, this is a little short story. So, Dame Lillard. So. Dame came up to St. Mary's and uh, he came up with his with his class or whatever. And I was uh, I think I was a, a freshman at St. Mary's. Freshman or sophomore at St. Mary's, but we had to like might have been a freshman or or maybe an eighth grade or something. But he came up to the school. And so I was reading books to him in his class when I was a freshman. So after you know, I didn't realize who it was until, you know, until like a couple of years later. And so to make a long story short, you know, a lot of people don't know that, you know, when Dane was coming up, everybody would ask him, hey, man, who's your favorite player? And he would say Paul Marigny. And they'd be like, who? <laughs> and he was like, hey, y'all don't even know who he is, but he's my he was my favorite player growing up. And you can you can ask him to this day, and he'll tell you. So after me and Dame got you know got cool and got connected, you know he went on a visit at St. Mary's, right? St. Mary's was really really heavy in to getting them, and and you know Dame was only going to go to St. Mary's because I went there. So, and I kept it real with Dame, and I told Dame I said, me and Dame we was on the phone. I told him I said. Do not go to St. Mary's because they're gonna do you like they did me. And I don't want you to be in that position. I want you to go to somewhere. I was in Italy. This was in 2011, 2010, 11. 
I told him, I said, I said, I want you to go somewhere where the coach is going to give you the green light and not hold you back because of your game. Go somewhere and, 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 and shine, you know, because this coach, because Coach Bennett, he can't hold me back because of the way my game is, is set up. You know, he tried to, but, but, but the, the way I play the game, it was no way he could hold my game back. And so that game kind of, kind of was like every day I stressed to him, I said, do not go there because you're going to end up in the same position I'm in. They ain't going to let you play. They're going to tell you all these sweet words and everything is all good, you know, and have you thinking that is that is sweet, but it's not. Don't go there. Period. Mm. Don't go. And he didn't go. And it worked out. And legend it worked out. Started. The legend of Dame started, right? Mm -hmm. did, 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 yeah. did, he consult, did he consult you about the, the Weaver decision? Well, no, he he just, you know, he, he asked me about Weber State. And I told him, I said, you know, I mean, that's a that's a good option, you know, but I want you to go somewhere where the coach is going to make you, not break you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And to be to be honest, my dad went to Weber State. You know, and I don't know if Dame knew that or anything at all. I'm, I'm pretty sure he don't, but. But I thought Weber State was a good fit for him back then because, you know, he he could he could go there and advance and excel, you know, go go there and and, and get your shots up, you know, and 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 lead the country in scoring two years in a row. Go ahead. It's your it's your world. So so Pete, workaholic how, how is like it, every time. Huh? I said, how is, how is it overseas, man? Do you what, do you how many records do you hold overseas? How championships you got, man? Um, how many Hall of Fame stadium banners you got your jersey sitting up in overseas, man? I got uh, uh, well, my jersey got retired uh, in Ecuador. We won the championship in Ecuador, so I have I got one, two, I got two championships overseas and I didn't been to the playoffs numerous times and and uh and you know some years you know I, I got to the finals I got to the finals two years in a row in 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 uh, 2019 and in 2018 and then uh actually I got three championships I got a championship in Venezuela um so I got three championships overseas and uh, you know I didn't been to the finals you know, and and uh, then been to the semifinals, and and sometimes I I ain't get it done, you know. But uh, but yeah, I've been I've been through the trenches, man, overseas, man. How many ex, how many NBA players come over, man, and, and be overseas with you, man, and be like, yo, dude, you a killer? Like with me, we were talking um probably two episodes ago. We we compare him, right? I'm like, man, is he like a T Mac? Is Pete like a Russell Westbrook or is Pete like an Iverson, right? How many NBA players come over and see you play or play against you in overseas and be like, hey, dude, you a killer, just like any other in the NBA? Well, it's been it's been a lot of overseas players that came over here that I didn't ran into, you know, just from being in Italy, from being in uh, 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 Mexico, from being in, in, in Venezuela. Uh, where else? I, I played in the Philippines. Uh, um, and uh, a lot of the NBA players that here they they don't understand how to translate their game from the from 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 the NBA to to the overseas game. You know, it's a little different. So a lot of them come over here and they get sent right back home after a week or two. You know, it's very wow. difficult. You know, so I mean, uh, that's what the that's what the when when everybody always say when they get excited. When when teams get excited when they say oh he played in the NBA or or and he come over, and then when they see how they play and they don't adapt to the overseas game, then they just send them home real quick. <laughs> wow, wow, that's big, man. The other thing I want to talk about, P. I see you with this Adidas on, man, and stuff like that. But I wonder is it a, is it a branding sponsorship? 
what kind of endorsements stuff have you gotten over? No, nah, it ain't no endorsements, man. I just, I just been on three stripes for so long, man. I, I just, you know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't Dame sending him boxes. No. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, send, man, send some boxes got... to my favorite uh, player. No, Dame. You know, one thing about it is, is you know, Dame got a got a got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you're in that NBA life, you know, it's 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 a whole lot that come with everything you know you know i, I know he be a, a, a great basketball player you know i believe probably now well i, I don't even say now because when he got drafted he led the summer league in scoring it at 28 points a game his and he ain't even known that he ain't even played an nba game yet you know what i'm saying so he always been a killer, and that and that showed me right there that that he was gonna be special in the NBA, and he he not getting the love that you know like they like they praise Steph Curry, you know like they praise Chris Paul, you know and all the other uh, uh, point guards because he's an he's an elite PG, you know I mean. And and I would really say we can argue this all day that that he's the best three point shooter in the league. I love Dame to death, but I'm probably gonna have to take Steph on that one. But I I love Dame to death. Steph, Trey Young, it's an arguable you, conversation. You, you, now, if you say off the dribble, oh, you got to go over Dame pulling from the three off the dribble, right? But um, off the dribble, off the edge. I mean, and definitely more clutch. Now, if you go clutch three point, um, I, I could go with Dame on that. Dame is a killer. Other shit, I go with Dame. But let's look at this though. Steph Curry got a, got, he can shoot. He can he he's a flat out shooter. But he got to shoot thirty shots though. His efficiency is is. It's not like Dame. Dame don't shoot a lot of shots, but you'll look up and Dame have 40. 40, 45. 40, 45. You look at Steph Curry. Steph Curry have 45, but he'll be 11 for 31 from the three-point. It's like, what the hell? I'll say, I'll say if I'm picking a three-point shooting contest, All-Star Weekend, I'm taking Steph. If, if it's quarters one through three, I'm taking Steph. Quarter four, I'm taking Dame. Definitely fourth quarter day. We definitely got to go fourth quarter day. Well, you would die. take, but you would take, but you would take Steph because he got some because he got some rings. That's the only reason why. And uh, Steph can shoot, Paul. <laughs> 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 Steph can shoot a little yeah. bit. <laughs> but 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 Dame also can shoot too as well. And if yeah. you think about it. Steph don't want no problems with Dame. Whenever Dame no, comes, absolutely open. not. Yeah. Oh, oh. No. yeah. He no, he D forty. <laughs> no, not at all. No, no, yeah, no. no. Dame, we just talking about strictly yeah. shooting. Yeah, no, that, strictly. Now, if I'm at the rec center and I got to pick my five, I got I got I got Dame over there. Definitely but got Dame. Strictly, if we talking about strictly shooting, the the best shooter is me. Period. B forty. B forty. So I asked you that question. Who who is your game like, man? I, I, I gave you T Mac. I gave you T Mac. Um, I don't know who someone else said, but I, I said, man, P was like a T Mac at Castle Mind because he could be wanted to do kind of like T Mac. Yeah, I, I but I, I mean, I I grew up watching Kobe. I don't know. I kind of just added a little bit of everybody to. To my game, you know, I studied the the Allen Iverson crossover. I studied the 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 the, the fade away from Jordan. Skip to my Lou. That's the right. I was gonna go. I was, was gonna never. Say, I was never say, wasn't really. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What you were saying, P? No, no, no. Go ahead. I was gonna say in terms of body type, flair. And just skill set, I was gonna say Paul reminds me of uh, Ali Mo, Black Widow, 
but with oh. actual in-game skills. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that comparison. I can take that. I can take that. So, P, you've been overseas for a minute, man. I'm, what's the um? Any but retirement you know, soon? Man, it ain't no retirement, man. As long as my legs is working and 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 they paying me to to get these buckets, hey, I ain't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna quit no time soon. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I might. You know, we we we're not playing right now because of the coronavirus. You know, but the league's supposed to start up. The league's supposed to start up soon. You know, they they be having like four to five leagues here a year. So at different times, different months. So it might be one league for four months, the other league for, for three months, and then you got another one for four months and then three months. So you got you got uh, 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 you got jobs all year long. Hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? So so it, it just same, all depends on are they the same team P? Is it the same team playing in these leagues or are they are they different teams? No, different teams, different different teams, different leagues. But you know, my name out here in Mexico is heavy. So, I mean, well, and all of South America is heavy. So, I mean, I, you know, with 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 the grace of God, you know, I believe I can always I can always keep a job until I until I retire. You know, because I didn't put in so much work and and uh, you know, then then been accountable and and you know, got championships and my resume speaks for itself. You know, just over the years, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, if if uh, if you can get if you can. If you can give, you know, 40 points in 1999 and still get it in 2019, I mean, bro, I played two games of 21 yesterday and I'm done today. So I, I salute you, bro, brother. I don't know how you do it. A but you know, it, 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 it comes with, it comes with the lifestyle of training and 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 uh, you know wanting to uh, to motivate and inspire the people that's coming up. You know, I, I I always tell everybody that you know just because I ain't just because I ain't make the NBA or you ain't make the NBA or you don't have that chance, don't give up on on uh, on on your talent. You know, you got to master your craft. You know, because one thing about it is if you don't master your craft, it be great at what you are 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 good at. You know, you might be good at one thing, but be great at what you're good at. You know, because if you're not, then you lose it. Absolutely, absolutely, man. That that that, that that's big right there, man. And that's a lot of stuff to teach. So, are you when you when you when you, when it's off season because it goes all year round. You have no off season. Well, yeah, I do. I, I do got off season. You know, it, it, it might, it, it just depends. You know, it could be a month, it could be three months. It, it could be, uh, it just depends on the situation. It depends on the, the, the next, the next country that I want to go to, or, you know, it just, it just all depends. You know, a lot of people don't understand that this, that the overseas, uh, life of being a basketball player is a, is a grind. You know, you got travel, you know, you got, you got sometimes teams like to, like to pay late. You know, you got, to uh you got to be accountable you got practice you know we play three and four games a week you know what i'm saying so it's a it's a lot that come with it it's kind of playing you know i remember one 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 se- no for like the last three seasons i didn't probably played about including playoffs i probably didn't probably played about maybe 90 games for like the last like five seasons, last five seasons, wow, ninety games, and that's playing three to four times a week, and that's including playoffs. That's that's a deep run, man. That's a deep run. <laughs> See, what's, your, what's your favorite country overseas playing in? What was your favorite country to play in overseas? You said you was in Ecuador, uh, Suela, Mexico, Italy. Which which one was your favorite city to play in? I mean, favorite country to play in. Well, you know, I mean, Mexico is great because it's close to it's close to the states. You know, I speak Spanish fluently. Um, I speak Italian fluently. Um, I played in uh, in in Israel. Uh, I speak a little a little Hebrew too, so I'm I'm speaking damn near four languages: Italian, 
Spanish, Hebrew, and English. So, and uh, so I have to say, man, everywhere, everywhere I go, it's always, it's always, uh, it's always a pleasure to be in that country, because each each country that you visit, you know, every 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 country has this different culture. Definitely, definitely. We go, we go wrap it up pretty soon, P, but I got, a, I got a couple, couple things I want you to do. You mentioned a lot about, um, Jay Ryder, right? Have you paid attention uh-huh. to his son? Have you been paying attention to his son, little Jay Ryder, little Jovan basketball career? Absolutely. Absolutely. He had, uh, at Grand Canyon university and, uh, you know, like I said, he, he, you know, I was around Jay, L- Jay Ryder a lot when I was, when I was young, you know, he was always at Brookfield with his son. Lil J, Lil J was always at Brookfield, and uh, so I watched Lil J grow up and blossom into into uh, into being a, a a great into being a in into be, becoming a great basketball player. Yeah, yeah, he got that, got that freshman freshman uh, uh, conference freshman of the year. You know, that's a that's a big achievement for him. You know, yeah. and especially being around, you know, being around uh, 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 Mike Bibby and 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 uh, the exposure that he got in Arizona, you know, because he played in Arizona for the AAU team, and, and uh, so, but he got a chance to do something special, man. He he he, uh, and not only that, he a, he a great he a great young man too, man. He a, like a great human being, you know. He real humble, you know. He ain't. Uh, he ain't on no, uh, on none of that, none of that, uh, you know, uh, all that other shit. He just, you know, strictly, he know what he got to do when he get in the gym, he get in there strictly and work, put in his work and then, uh, he clock out, you know, and that's why he going to be great. Watch what I tell you. Man, and shout out to Jay, man. I got Ken, I got the funniest story with Jay Ryder. We at the scoop ground and him Cockerham get into an argument in a bet at $200 on the game. Playing in jeans and tank top, and let's say the score didn't get to seven before we had to call the game off because <laughs> Jay Ryder trying to cheat. Jay, my partner, he was trying to cheat, and I betted my money on Kev, and I had to call the game. I'm not losing my Jay like that. I lost too much money to him over here, man. Hey, Jay Ryder, so funny, man. Jay Ryder, he 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 he's so funny. You know, that's my partner. He he he, he a good dude, man. I remember. I would tell you. A quick story. I remember so I think I was about 13, 14. So I come to Brookfield and you know Howard say, Hey man, I got these sh- I got these shoes for you. You know, the Iversons, what size shoe you wear? So me and Jay Ryder played one on one for some Iversons when I was like thirteen or fourteen and he tried to cheat. But I it was he was trying to cheat. He was <laughs> <laughs> Man, I still remember that story to this day, bro. And uh, you know, it, it, I end up winning the shoes. Make a long story short, I end up winning the shoes, and and you know, I'm walking out there with new Iversons on my feet. They was white and blue too. Mm. I remember. Man, Paul the champ, man. We want to thank you for coming on, man. We appreciate it, man. You was highly requested. A lot of dudes. Oh, hold on, P. I'll, before we let you go, I don't know if you saw this top twenty-five list of East Bay players 06 to 2004. Did you get a chance to check that list out? From from uh, 04 to 06? No, 90s. We did a top 25 list from 06 to 04, right? Of, of, of East Bay basketball. Not just OEL, but East Bay. And the list brought a whole bunch of controversy out because, you know, 25 within a 10-year span, and some people didn't make the list, right? And it brought a lot of controversy. You probably didn't send it. Maybe me and Ken can send you the list, and you can our feedback on on the list. But it it was controversial. The top. Just, just tell me who on the. Yeah, I said hey, Ken, tell me you got your phone by you. No, tell tell me who on the list right now. Okay, I'll tell you right Let's now. Let's go. We know we have right on the list. We had um we we, we even left we left some playoff. We, we had to add, but we had Frank Here we Knight. Go. You got Here we Ken. go. Here we go. Will Levy, uh-huh. Daryl Tucker, okay. Joe, Joe C., Paul Marigny, uh-huh. 
Leon Poe, Larry Guess, Allende, Nick Ensweiler, Marshawn Ferris, Frank Knight, Ray Young, Justin Davis, Marquine, Drew Gooden, Tim Pierce, Antonio Kellogg, Eddie House, Gary Hill Thomas, Circus King, Brandon Payton, Devon Harden, Dior Lohorn, Austin Nichols, Keith Wilwright. So now these the, now these the, now these the names that was left off that like had an argument. Jules, Joe Vaughn, Deshaun Freeman, DeMar Shea, Chris Oaks, Sean Farnham, Blandon Ferguson, Jamal Hill, David Bell, Derek Lambeth, Frank Alaco. Oh, we then we have Jason. We had a Dior on that list too, right? Then we have Dior on that yeah, list. Yeah, Dior. Yeah, Dior was on there. Dior was on that list. But when, when when you said the name Joe C, Paul said, "Nah, what was oh, that?" Yeah, you got to take him off and put and put David Bell on there. All you right, got to so put I'm David. You got to put I'm David Bell on. He the, he, the, he the number one. I, I believe he's the number one all time leading scorer at at Hayward High. I believe. Over Eddie House. Over Eddie House. Oh, second, second, I believe Eddie House is number one. Dave Bell number two. I forgot about Eddie House. Um. Okay. Yeah, you would have to. You got to take. Got to take Joe Seed off of there. I mean, he he was a good. I mean, he was he he, he was. He was okay, you know, to me. He was just okay. You got to take him off, and you got to put uh, Dave Bell on there, and you got to have a spot for Jovan Harris. You have to. Where did we you have Jovan? He was an honorable mention. Remember, we said Austin and Keith was like, hey, "We'll we'll take yeah. all, we'll take all, you know, we'll hear you out." Yeah, yeah you, you know, might have to, you know, might have to take Austin Nichols off and, and put and put Jovan on there, because the reason why I say Jovan is because I really. I really got a real, real dosage of, of Joe Vaughn. Like, I really, really saw him, like, murder cats. Like, eat. I saw him eat. I ain't never really seen Austin Nichols eat. I know Not, he was. Yeah, he, he was good after high school. I give people that. That's why I said it's debatable. But uh, he's Javon, a good oh, yeah, Javon, Javon gave us buckets at Oakland High, for sure. Hey, but Pete, my guy, I got I to gotta put him out there because he's a teammate of Javon. Arizona State Sun Devil, and he's also from the neighborhood I'm from. Do Jamal Hill have a case to be on the list? Jamal Hill needs to be on the list. You need to no. take off. The no. reason why, yeah. the reason why I say the reason why I say that is because Jamal Hill, he is a dog, man. I got a real, real dosage of him too, as as well as Marquine. Like them, dude. Them, okay, look. No, look, I said this before. It's hard for me to put guys that I played against on the list if they didn't kill. In my senior year, mm. I personally locked up Jamal Hill. Now, that's my guy. He from the Dubs. He used to be at Oakland High all the time. That's my guy. But on Mamas, if the tape is there, I locked up Jamal Hill myself with no help. But, but Kim, okay, but what if you... But Ken, but what about you did you bully him? Huh? Did you just must? I, every, like when Jamal got to Arizona State, bro, man, Jamal was at ASU, bro. Like we had been in the gym hooping, and I ain't know the dude could step, bro. Jamal had stroke. Jamal, Jamal reminds me of Franco. They really got good, good after high school. No, Jamal was good in high school, man. I he played was with good. him. He was good. He was good. He was good. He was good, but he wasn't top 25. No, he was a dog. He was a dog, just like Gary Hill Thomas. I got a real dose. Gary of Hill too. Thomas dunked on me in the paper. The dog. Gary Hill Thomas, Odell beat us by 30. He's on the list. That's what I'm saying. If, I, if you didn't kill when we played, I can't. I can't. Okay, hey. but what about, what, about, what about Drew Gooden dropping the ball against uh, the, the, uh, in the state? I mean, Drew Gooden didn't make my top twenty-five. I got a real dosage of him. Let's hear yours. Not twenty-five. Give me well, yeah, like top ten. Ten. No, I'm talking about my my, my top twenty-five. Uh, 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 Drew Gooden didn't make my top twenty-five. You gotta you gotta text me your top twenty-five. We're gonna post it later. My my top twenty-five. Oh, you got it. it? it yeah, it was on my Instagram. My top oh. twenty-five. 
was, and this was just off the top of my head, was uh, Kellogg, Marquine, uh -huh. Dame. Uh -huh. Oh, Dante but what years did you do? You just did like all time or what? Uh, from 1999 to 2009. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, Kellogg, Marquine, Dame. Uh, I don't know if y'all know Dante Sawyer. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he from the Dante city. Sawyer, uh, uh, Cardell Butler, Jovan Harris, Ricky Bartley, Dominique Ingerson, Tim Pierce, Ike, Jabari, Marquise Cately, Jamal Hill, Gary Hill Thomas, uh, Corey Patterson, Quentin Thomas, DeMarche, uh, Deuce, Wendell, Wendell McKines, Mondo, a bill cg now i like that list some some so but we only went to um we only went to 04. so when window was on our list oh. too but but he was after 04. a lot of those guys was that we only went to 04. but i respect that list though um cp i, I definitely would not cp wasn't even top 10 oil to me but he he led the league in scoring the oil in scoring cp yeah, and uh, I want to say right before the, right before the year of Tim, because you know CP was a little younger. He's he's coming. He's like I thought CP three, was with us. No, 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 no. He like he graduated with Quentin, I think. Hey, he was a, a sidebar. He, sidebar. Do you remember playing in that All Star game, the Oyo All Star game? Yeah, Where, I do. Do you remember Mark? <laughs> how Mark King gave us. <laughs> I think Marquis gave us like a 60 piece and never went inside the key. I think so too. Yeah, oh, I remember. Man, I'll never forget that. But anyway, yeah, no, I respect the uh, Corey Patterson. That's my guy. I love Corey Patterson, but I don't know about that one. Hey, Ken, we got to bring Gary on. We got to bring Gary, Gary Hill Thomas. Gary Hill -Thomas on because nah, man, I still have nightmares of Gary Hill Thomas, bro. A funny story. My son and Gary's son both transferred to the school they had together. So they in the same fight and they play, you know, a CYO. But you see how you see how, how Gary said he do his coaching and all of this stuff. Yeah. I just talked to him one day. Real cool dude, real cool man. Um, and he also said he played um a little bit overseas as well in Utah uh, for a couple of years. We got to bring Gary on, man. Uh, um, bring him on, man. He coached the Celtics. I got it. So he'd be I got easy to get in touch with. Yeah. No, I got his number, man. He they they classmates. They gonna be classmates for a few years, man. man so we got to bring him on. Hey P, I like I like the but. Do do the whole? Or did you have whole Oakland Tech starting five on your list? Huh? Did you have the whole Tech starting five on your list? Pretty much. I, I, I Hondo, Quinn, Deuce, Leon, and Day. That's start, that, I mean, that's five. I didn't hear you. Leon not on my list. Leon or Drew Gooden ain't on my list. Oh, controversial oh, piece. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not, not to go too long on the interview, but CP is better than Leon. And Drew Gooden? And Drew Gooden? That's just my list, man. No, I mean, I respect it. I'm just like, okay. All right, give us a final out. word. Give us a final word before you get out of here, P. Uh, I want to tell y'all, uh, thank you. I appreciate for having me on the show. You know, it's always good to, to connect with uh, – with you guys and and the people that got watching and and, and listening and uh and you know i'll see you guys soon you know what i'm saying and uh just remember i'm the i'm, I'm the best from the bay area that's not in the nba the best ever i would agree with that i'll say this too before yeah. we before we disconnect i number one i agree with that and uh number two man i, I know you're far away from home but 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 real talk like between me and Lo and our DMs, inboxes, text messages, bro, like you by far number one uh, were the most requested um, that we get. <laughs> I, think, I think we was gonna start losing um, supporters if we didn't get you home. So, so the love is real at home, brother. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, I mean, I, I love my city. My city raised me, you know? I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be where I am without without uh without the supporters and about the people without the people that believed in me whether i made it to the league or not they didn't care about that they just you know one thing about it is is i was 
my whole objective was to was to turn up the city and get the city rocking so that I could, you know, uh, get everybody, you know, that was in the position that was selling dope or whatever they was doing or out stealing, killing, robbing. Hey, let's go see, let's go see P40 play. You know, even if it's an hour out day day where they don't get caught up with the police or, or, you know, you know, or get shot at or something. Hey, let's go see him play. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to, I was doing something a little bit bigger you know that that I didn't realize until until I got a little older until until you know I don't know if y'all know Devon Oliver and and you know and and Jay Ryder I mean I know y'all know Jay Ryder but Jay Ryder used to always tell me hey man you know you uh you know keep killing and doing your thing in the city because you know a lot of people coming to see you see you play hell you even taking me out the streets for an hour or two to come see you play you know because we never know what can happen in that in that hour or two hours you know what i'm saying you know so that was that was something that i was that i was working at at a young age and i didn't even know until i got older definitely man much respect Pete. man shout out man. safe overseas good man and keep chopping in with us man love you bro okay love you too hey y'all be safe hey ken lolo y'all let me know if y'all need anything whatever it is you Y'all know how to get in contact with me. And, you you know, know we're in the same city now, so when you come home, tap in. We'll, okay, we'll, yes, sir. We'll do something. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Enjoy, man. All right. Okay, enjoy, y'all brothers, okay? It's all good. All right, be good. All right. Low breeze. Hey, man, that's a good one, man. Definitely. We go, ooh, man, we go get some controversy with Pete. I'm 25. His top 25 works in top <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that your your favorite people, or like, are you talking about skills, or just like dudes you kick it with? That's <laughs> me, Peon, man. Story out there of a P, man, and see how he it is crazy. How um, Jay Ryder was helping him out through his process, and then he turned around and came out through here. Sometimes we don't get that warning of what someone else went through, and they say, "Yo, bro, don't no school. This how they did me." We don't get that warning. We get caught up on being a son, hey man, and just go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So definitely, that's big up uh, of him for not letting. We don't know what Dane would be like if he went to St. Mary's. We may not. Or he might be like P and be playing overseas. You, you know what I'm know. saying? So definitely, that was so, a good call. So low, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna just give it. Don't go to Lincoln University in Missouri. To play football, do not go. <laughs> hey, no, like, I'm gonna do the work. Don't go to no school that says they got open enrollment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but hey, if we don't go, maybe you and I are not on this podcast together. So hey, yeah, you know, right, it all worked right. out. Man, and thanks for signing a good episode right there. Can't wait till the viewers get to hear Paul's story, man. It's all good, man. Well, thank everybody, man, again for, for supporting. Uh, definitely check us out on anchor.fm backslash the Rec Center podcast. Also check out our YouTube channel, the Rec Center. Man, we appreciate it. We're still enjoying it. We love bringing this uh, content to you guys. Um, DM us, inboxes, let us know who else you want to hear from. Uh, I did get word today. We, def we got a special special guests i'm talking major league baseball legend all-star uh borderline hall of famer uh hey so stick with us we coming with it um but in the meantime huh you're alice biff roberts maybe uh, not uh, not confirmed it's not confirmed that's but, uh, right here. yeah i heard through the grapevine biff roberts wants 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 to come on so uh from there we maybe we get ricky henderson you never know but uh people are definitely um uh, helping us out with scheduling guests and we appreciate that so much uh for Ke i'm kenny edwards lorenzo lolo parham for the rec center podcast we out